Hi, I'm Candy Randolph. Today's topic is how to reboot your life. Have you ever come to a point in your life where you really want to make some changes? You want to feel good. You want to move forward, but you just feel kind of stuck. Well, that's what we're going to be talking about today in terms of rebooting. To me, there are three things, three areas of our life that we need to focus on and bring into balance because probably one of those areas is out of balance. So let's take a look at what they are and what you can do to reboot your life. How to reboot your life. Reset your mind, your body, and your spirit. When is the right time to make a change in your life? Well. How about today? Let's do it together. First, let's take a look at the definition of rebooting a computer. Rebooting allows the computer to restart and get back to working normally. After a crash, the computer is useless until you reboot. Now, let's apply it to ourselves and think about my personal reboot. Rebooting allows me to restart and get back to living normally. After a crash, such as I'm worn out, I'm fried, I'm discouraged, overtired, lacking purpose, in need of direction, no motivation, you fill in the blanks, I'm useless until I reboot. I believe that when it comes to rebooting our life, there are three phases. The first is to take a look at who we are and our individuality. You know, our mind is a wonderful thing, but it can also be a real pain in the neck. If we let it, our mind can take us down those dusty roads of the past, those hazy, fog-filled paths of the future, and we can find ourselves so immersed in the two that the precious present slips right by. When we reboot our life, we acknowledge those past experiences and mistakes, but we let go of them and we focus on today. Our body is a miracle in itself, and we only get one of them in this life, so we need to treat it with respect. When we think about the food that we choose to eat, the activities we participate in, and the type of fitness and exercise we get, if we're going to reboot our life, let's take a look at all of those things right now and see if we can set some new standards going forward. Our spirit, our heart, it's just as important in rebooting our life as our body and our mind. So through meditation, quiet contemplation, prayer, evaluation, whatever you need to do to listen to your heart, what it's telling you as you prepare to reboot your life. The second area of rebooting our life is how we live, our patterns, our habits, Let's take a closer look at those. You know, sometimes we get so accustomed to how we live and where we live that we really don't even see what's around us. But if we live with a lot of clutter or maybe things that we really don't need to have around us anymore, it can actually kind of throw us off of our game. So think about it. Is it time to declutter? Maybe is it time to downsize? Do a little bit of minimalizing in your home. Take a look around and see what you think. The same holds true for our daily habits. Think about it. When you go about your day, look at it with fresh eyes. Why are you doing what you're doing? Is it helping you? Is it healthy for you? Is there a purpose for it? Maybe you'll find that there is some decluttering that you can do with your daily habits that will help you get yourself back in sync. The third area in rebooting your life is to think about choices, our choices, our priorities, and what's important to us. Think about it this way. Ask yourself these questions and give yourself time to think about them. Where do you spend your time? What comes first to you in your life? What will you give up easily? And what will you hold on to? When we think about how to reboot our life so that we can have a healthy, motivated, inspired, and fulfilling existence, our priorities impact this so very much. 
It's worth it to take some time to write down your thoughts and how you would respond to those questions that were just posed to you so that you can find that balance and get that reboot going and move forward in your life. Is today the right day for you to give yourself a fresh start? Maybe it is. Think about it. Are you ready to reboot your life right now? We'll take a look at the Fresh Start Challenge, a seven-day email series that I created just for that purpose. You can revive your mind, nourish your body, and refresh your spirit, all in a very simple, personal, and uncomplicated way. I would love to see you there. However you choose to take that step, just do it. Make the commitment today to reboot your life and move forward as a healthy and happy person.